Next, let's look at when a point, when a plane, sorry, when a plane and a line intersect, they intersect at a point. And hopefully you were paying attention above when I talked about intersections, but this is true. So again, you can imagine having a piece of paper and stabbing a pencil through it, or a needle. But if I have a plane, and I send a line through that plane, the point of intersection for this line and plane is a point. So the statement is true. And lastly, a plane and a line must intersect. This one is false. We can imagine again having our parallel planes, that ceiling and the floor. Notice a plane has a line in it. And so if we have a line on our ceiling, that line will never intersect with the floor. So we can imagine having our two parallel planes and having a line in one of those planes. Plane M and line L will never intersect. And this is kind of hard to show in a two-dimensional drawing. So really it does help to visualize the three-dimensional space around you. Think about that ceiling and the floor. Think about if you took a marker and drew a line on your ceiling. Even if that line extended forever and even if your floor extended forever, the two would never intersect. And that concludes section 2.4.